all right then lads ccr gaming here and boys it's been a long time since i've said that i really have been missing youtube these days and i'm back temporarily because i have half term right now but the thing is i've been bombarded by college work which means that i haven't been able to upload as often so i'm sorry about that hopefully things will improve but we'll have to see as you can see this is going to be my first v15 video and today what you're going to be watching is me going through some glitch potential players on career mode basically this is when um a player's potential when a player outgrows his potential by so much that you know they reach like levels that they weren't supposed to reach like for example some of these players might have a potential of like 70 but then they end up reaching world class levels so around like 85 or 86 around there so yeah i'm just putting these out to you guys so that you can you know pick them up in your career modes they're not guaranteed to grow as much for everyone so you'll have to look out for them but i can almost guarantee that some of these will have gone up for you in your career modes so yeah look out for them if you do enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you later on to the video Right, so the first player that we're going to be looking at is Rune Almaning Jarstein. His potential originally is 70, which is his rating um, currently, but this is a few seasons in, so it's like two or three seasons in on my career mode, and he's managed to reach 86 with some solid um, goalkeeping stats. Um, as you can see, he has 92 reflexes and 89 diving, which are insane for a um, player that isn't really meant to reach this level um, rating. So, yeah, that's the first player. Secondly, we've got Tommaso Bernie, who incredibly has a potential of 63, which is his r current rating. But as you can see, at the age of 35, he's managed to get himself to 88 somehow. Um, that's a huge upgrade, a 25 rating upgrade. And if you just look at his stats, they look absolutely insane. He's not weak in any part of his um, goalkeeping game, although his um, speed and stuff might be low. But he is—he looks like a solid keeper for you guys to buy as a backup or something, because he is 35 years old and he is getting on. The third player on this list is going to be Petr Cech. Um, I know he's already rated really high, so he doesn't really fit into this, but his potential is meant to be the same as his rating already, which is 85. But as you can see, he's gone up to 88 in my career mode, age 36. And yeah, he's gone up by 3, which is pretty impressive. And every time I go on um, any career mode, he always seems to push Courtois out of the team. And Chelsea always end up selling Courtois, so yeah, Petr Cech is a very good keeper. Right, the next one is Ika Casillas, who's also 88 rated, um, at the age of 37, however. I'm surprised he still hasn't retired, to be honest. But yeah, he's got very solid stats, and he's sort of, um, his stats look like the stats that he had back in FIFA 12 when he was rated 89, I think. But yeah, he looks really solid, and um, I wouldn't really pick him up, if, to be honest, because he is really old. But, you know, it's up to you. Another keeper that we have is going to be Roman Weidenfeller, who has gone up by his potential quite a lot. I mean, his um, rating's 83, but as you can see, he is 87 um, at the age of 38. I think last season, when I was on this career mode, he was rated around 89, but he's gone down by 2. But that's still quite good. That's still really high. Um, I mean, his stats are really, really good for a goalkeeper. And yeah, much like the others. The first outfield player we've got is this guy called Tono. Um, his original potential is 74. Um, but he's managed to get himself up to 81 at the age of 28. As you can see, he has, he has very solid stats. I mean, he's got um, 96 crossing, which is insane for left back. And his defensive stats are really good. And the fact that he's actually quite quick actually um, makes him a pretty solid left back. The next player we've got is Fernando Chisone. His potential is also 74. Um, I mean, he's 27 when um, currently, I guess. But in my career mode, he's 32, aged 8. Uh, wait, what? He's age 32, rated 85, and if you just look at his stats, guys, I mean, those are insane stats for a CDM. He's got 96 ball control, which is immense. He's got 98 stand tackle and 95 sliding tackle, which means he'll be a rock in your midfield, and yeah, he just looks really, really solid. The next player we've got is Ricardo Vazte. I know he's only rated 79, but his potential is actually 69, so he's outgrown his potential by 10. And his stats don't really show a 79 rated player's stats, I guess, because he does have 94 dribbling, which is insane for a 79 rated player. And most of his stats are green, which is really impressive as well. And last but not least, we've got Rodney Strasser for this episode. And just look at those stats, guys. They are insane stats for a 81 rated centre mid. And this guy's potential is actually going to be 64. Um, he's, his base card is rated 60, I think, on Ultimate Team and in career mode right now. But yeah, he's, he's reached 81 on my career mode at the age of 28. And just look at those stats. He's got amazing stats, literally. He's got 98 ball control, 96 dribbling, um, 94 long passing, and just stuff like that. His defensive stats are really, really solid as well. So he can play CDM or like um, anywhere in midfield, basically, apart from on the wings, because he's not the quickest. So 
Yeah guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you want to see another video of me showing more glitch players, because there are quite a few more, and if you do want to see that, please leave a like, comment back down below saying that you want to see it. Subscribe for more FIFA 15 content, which should be coming soon, and I'll see you later.